Hello friends, this is Ishwar here and in this video let us see how to install AOSP extended ROM which is on Android 8.1 Oreo on the Redmi Note 3. So before getting started, let me tell you the requirements of installing this ROM. You need to have an unlocked bootloader and a custom recovery. So if you are coming from MIUI, that's uh, good but you need to have an unlocked bootloader and if you are coming from any other Android 8.1 ROM, you need to flash a separate firmware. I will tell you about that in the later part of this video. Now, let me tell you the reasons of why you need to install this ROM. I'm just switching to this ROM because I need some good customizations and I don't get it in the Pixel Experience ROM. And I'm also trying to get some good battery life which is not a present in Pixel Experience ROM. The screen on time just varies from 4 hours to 5 hours and maximum it is 5 and a half hours. So, uh, I'm just trying to get some good battery life ROM and also a good customizable ROM. So, without wasting any more time, let's get started. So here I am with the Redmi Note 3 running on Pixel Experience ROM right now. If you don't know what is this, I will give a show note over here. You can just use that to install this ROM on your Redmi Note 3. So here's the website of AOSP Extended. You can download the ROM from this page over here. I will leave the link in the description box below. Just scroll down and select the latest version and then tap on it to start the download for your device. And then all you need to do is download your specified open G apps. So just select ARM64 for Redmi Note 3 and then select Android version as 8.1 and select any of your preferred variant from over here. I have selected mini for this case. So just tap all these and then start the download. Now if you are switching from any MIUI ROM, you just need to skip this step. But if you are using an Android 8.1 Oreo ROM or something like that which is a custom ROM, you just need to patch this firmware to install this ROM. So here is it in the HDA developers website. I will leave the link of the HDA developers website also in the description. You just need to scroll down and then get to this area where you get this. It is recommended that you use this firmware. Here is a hyperlink so you just need to tap on it and then it will just start the download for your device. Or else if your download is started just tap on this download file button and it will start the download. Now after doing all these just make sure you take a backup of your device by getting into settings and uh, getting into local backups if you are using a MIUI device or else if you are using a custom ROM or anything like that uh, make sure you take a backup of your apps using titanium backup or any of your preferred application also take a backup of your whatsapp and any other social media and stuff so that's it for the backup part and then we just need to turn off our phone and then get into our recovery for that we need to hold the volume up and power button to enter into our recovery now after you have booted into your recovery just tap on wipe and then select advanced wipe and select dial the card cache system data and then cache you need not wipe your internal storage and micro sd card now just swipe to wipe and after it is wiped just come back and then tap on install and select your AOSP ROM flash it now after the ROM has been flashed just come back and if you are switching from a MIUI ROM you need not follow the steps but if you are switching from any Android 8.1 Oreo ROM you just need to flash this firmware which you downloaded before so select that and then swipe to install now after that just install your open G apps which you have downloaded before and then swipe to install to install that too now that this is done just swipe the cache and dial the cache and then you are good to go you just need to reboot into the system it will take a few minutes for the first boot so just sit back and relax as you can see there is a new boot animation over here which is like kinda cool it is showing the uh, chipset and it is saying that it is AOSP extended wow it is now booted and we just need to press start 
and it is connecting to a Wi-Fi. Let me connect to a Wi-Fi. So this is the page where you need to be very careful. This one encrypts your device, so we just need to be very careful whether we need to select yes or no. So I would always prefer to select no as it is better to be decrypted whenever we whenever we like to switch to new ROMs and that's how it is yeah finally it is done and we just need to select the launcher right now and i will select the pixel launcher here's a cool background a yet i think it's the brightness 4g is working fine as you can see i'm not sure about VOLT because i don't have a VOLT sim right now and the signal reception is pretty much good and let us just jump into settings Here's a new section called extensions which we can use to extend our device like it's like the customizations part. Here's the AES updates which we can use to update our phone via OTE updates. And the developer has also given some add-ons which is pretty much cool. When we get into about section, here's it AES ROM and Android version is 8.1.0 Oreo. The security patch is 5th July 2018 that's very good. Even Pixel Experience ROM is not having that. Back here's the main thing which I wanted to see in this ROM extensions. Here's the status bar which you can control. There are a lot actually, and uh, I'm not going to show you all of those as it will take a lot of time. Here's a tweak which is similar to MIUI, which is this screenshot feature which we can swipe three fingers to. Uh, take a screenshot and in this room whenever we turn on the battery saver the orange shade won't come which is pretty much ugly so that's pretty much it you get the cool AOS page tender ROM on your device after you have installed this ROM just surf through this and let me know your thoughts on this and also the new features in this ROM so that's pretty much it for this video I hope you enjoyed this video if you like this video hit the like button and if you want to share this video to your friends hit the share button so thank you for watching have a great day Peace.